Well, hi, this is Bern Sargas for another edition, a very special edition of Inside OSU, uh, and we have some pretty recognizable faces with me this morning. Uh, we've got Boone Pickens, and then Justin Blackman, and Brandon Whedon. And we're here in the lobby, just right outside the coaches' offices and the training table here in fantabulous Boone Pickens Stadium. So welcome, everybody. Uh, you know, guys, we, we talk a lot about the fact that these facilities, which are fantastic, are tremendous recruiting tools. Uh, talk about that. I think it kind of speaks for itself. You know, when families come in here and their kids are come, you know, thinking about coming to school here, um, this kind of does it all by itself. You know, they see this and they understand what we have going on here at Oklahoma State. And uh, I think, you know, thank you to Mr. Pickens. He's one of the main reasons for it. You know, he's, uh, he's really brought a new light to Oklahoma State and really put it into a lot of people's minds. And, um, you know, his, his generous donation to this, this glorious facility has just been, been unbelievable for recruiting. And, uh, you know, every year that goes on, we see better and better players come through here, and that's part of the reason why we've had so, so, so much success. We moved into this, I guess, uh, your, your second year here, right? right? So w was the prospect of this facility important to you and, and your decision? On my visit, we came and toured around here while I was under construction, and uh, they pretty much had the pictures of everything that was laid out, and they, they had everything set up how it was how it is now. So I mean, me and my uh, me and my family saw what was going on, and we knew what this place was going to be, and how nice it was going to be, and uh, we knew it was going to be a great place. Did it did it surprise you? I mean, was it more than you thought? Or was it less than you thought, or was it just exactly what you thought? What kind it, it was actually more than what I thought. I mean, uh, some of the stuff that you see on pictures, until you actually see it and you're, you're in there, you, you can't really tell how That's it is. That's what you said. You said yeah. it was bigger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy how uh, different it was from looking at the pictures to actually being there right there. And, you know, our weight room, how big it is, and everything's set up perfectly. I mean, it's, it's, it's just amazing. Now, I know that it helps in, in bringing people here. But uh, what about in just making you better players? No question. I mean, you, you mentioned with the facilities as far as the workout facilities and stuff like that. I mean, we've quadrupled the size and gives us more capability to, to do more things with what we have. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, if, if we need it, I think we've pretty much got it here as far as physical training. And, and with that, the bonding part, a lot of people want to be up here now. I mean, it's a nice place. You can relax. So a lot of people just come up here and sit, eat lunch, and, you know, there'll be four or five people. There's, Ten people downstairs when I came up here, and you know they're just sitting down there eating, watching TV, uh, having a good time, like it's living room. We're doing a lot better, but we want to do even better. We want people standing in line to get in this stadium. But talk about the idea of when you you have a big crowd in the stadium. You know, for me, I mean, I've all, when people ask, you know, what it's like playing college football, uh, I always just refer to running out of that tunnel with 65,000 people in orange shirts just going crazy. You know, I could sit here for days and try to think of words to describe it, but you can't describe it. And uh, you know, until you actually do it and run out of the field and have everybody on your side in, in the stadium, it's, uh, it's kind of surreal. And you know, for me, I, I love hearing the crowd yell. So anytime there's a big, a big play and they're cheering, you know, I just want to happen again. And uh, you know, I just love to hear them going. It gets my heart rate going. You guys got any questions? Speaking from the players, well, we really appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, you, what you've done is, I mean, not only help us as, as players, but you know, fans and you know, people that you know, wear orange on a daily basis. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate your saying that. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, somebody said, did you get your money's worth? Have asked me that. I mm -hmm. said, you better believe I, <laughs> I, got, I got my money's worth because of you and, and the other players and everything else. Going around the other stadiums, though, I mean, do you see a big difference? I've got a chance to meet a lot of other Big 12 quarterbacks at a camp I went to, and, and we got on the topic of, you know, favorite places to play, hardest places to play. And I would say of the eight guys, they all said Boone Pickett Stadium. They said this is the hardest place to play in the Big 12. Good they deal. said those people with the paddles right behind the bench, they said, you just can't hear anything going on. Well, listen, I, uh, I think uh, these two guys under this sign here, Cowboy All-Americans, is pretty appropriate. Uh, and uh, your pictures are gonna be right there. But I think you're appropriate under that sign too, Boone, Thanks. as a Cowboy All-American. Thanks, Boone. Thanks, Justin, Brandon. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Really enjoyed visiting with you. Thank, Thank you, Boone. Good visit. Guys. That's another edition of Inside OSU. We'll see you next time.